Hey guys, in this video I want to introduce you to SAS. If you've uh, been coding with CSS for a long time, uh, a lot of people have some sort of hesitation to moving for, from traditional CSS to SAS because, you know, it's something new, it's different. Uh, so, you know, in this video I hope to get you out of your comfort zone and get you to try SAS because once you do, you're just going to, you know, hate yourself for not doing it sooner because it really makes website development so much faster, so much more efficient. Uh, it just makes it a pleasure to use uh, CSS again, basically. Uh, so this is the SAS website. You can take a look. You can learn SAS. They have their own documentation here, very thorough. Uh, there's some, you know, some samples, things like that. Uh, the thing about SAS, uh, no web browser can read SAS. So if you code in SAS, a web browser won't know what to do with it. So you do need a way to convert it to, to traditional CSS so that web browsers can use it. So the idea is that you code with SAS, <clears throat> but when you are ready to deploy it on your website, you, you just need to convert it to traditional CSS. So there's a few different ways of doing that. And so one of them is called Gulp.js. Uh, Gulp.js and Grunt.js are very similar in the sense that they're both task uh, runners. So that you need to install them, run them through the terminal, uh, things like that. So, you know, it's a bit heavy duty, particularly if you're just, you know, using CSS right now, transitioning into using Gulp.js and Grunt. I think it's, it can be a little bit overwhelming. So for the purposes of getting you started, you know, quicker, I highly recommend you check out CodeKit. CodeKit is a, is a GUI version of kind of Gulp and Grunt and what they do. So this is what I recommend you definitely give it a shot. You can get down to trial or buy it for $32, which I think is a really good, investment and really inexpensive uh, but in this demo I'm just going to use CodePen so if you have a CodePen account go ahead and uh, if you want to follow along just open up a fresh CodePen and because the SAS uh, preprocessor is actually built into CodePen so you don't even need CodeKit, Grunt, or Gulp to learn how to work with SAS you could just do it with CodePen so if you uh, open up a new CodePen page go ahead and uh, toggle this little gear icon here and just make sure in the C CSS preprocessor area you have the SCSS turned on so one of the things you're going to notice when we start coding it's with the uh, uh, SAS is that really it's CSS and if you know if you're easing into SAS you can always default back to CSS in the same document so you don't have to you're not really beholden to do everything SAS uh, all at once you know you can just little by little just start using SAS and incorporate it into your project so for this scenario I'm just gonna create just a basic um, really small um, example of like a container and just some items inside so for instance we have uh, actually, I'll make this an article. Okay, and inside so the article, we're just going to have an H1 tag. Uh, let's do a headline here. And let's do a P tag. Okay, and let's do... I mean, I guess that's okay just for the purposes of this demonstration. Just something really basic. So you have, a, you have an article, you have a headline, and you have a P tag. So the first thing I want to show you is the nesting with SAS. So, so essentially, if you were to use traditional CSS, you would do something like this. You would target the container, and then maybe you would do a background color on that container. And then you wanted to go ahead and target the H1 tag. So then you maybe do color, let's say, this orange color. Oops. And then you want to target the P tag, let's say. This, this is traditional CSS. And then you do something like, like that. Uh, actually, let's also make this the same color. You'll see why in a second. Uh, this is what you would do with traditional CSS. It works fine. However, as you can see, you're repeating container, 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 which is bad. You know, if you think about the dry methodology where you don't repeat yourself, this is no no good. So this is where SAS comes to the rescue. So instead of having to type container again and container once more, you would nest it. So essentially inside of this container uh, property here, you would just go ahead and target the H1. And if I just go ahead and copy uh, rather cut that out from there. I can delete that. And the same thing goes for the P tag. Go ahead and select that. Paste that in here. Perfect. And there you go. So this is very, so this is way you would nest it. So it's exactly the same thing. If you look at the compiled version, in other words, the processed version, 
This is just exactly what we just typed out manually. But SAS saves us the trouble and we just type it in once. Container and we just target the H1 and P and SAS knows that we're talking referring to the H1 and P tag that's inside the container. So already we're saving time with SAS. Cool. So now let's go ahead and see what, how variables can help us out. So variables, something maybe you've done with uh, JavaScript, uh, essentially we create variables and you re reuse these variables throughout the project but if you ever want to update the variables you just update in one place and it update updates it everywhere in our case we have this orange color we're repeating ourselves see again we're repeating ourselves every time you catch yourself doing that with you know with SAS you want to go ahead and address it so in this case I see that we're using the same color in both places so what I would do is create a variable this is how you do that dollar sign Oops, variable name rather. So in this case, I'm just gonna call it orange because that's the color. And we're gonna go ahead and identify it as, I'm just gonna copy that in here, done. So here's our variable. So that means now we can use it. So how do we go about using that? You just copy this and just replace the color right over here. So exactly the same thing. Perfect. So now if we ever wanna change this color to something else, let's say we wanna change it to this gray color, it's as easy as that. Very good. So that's how you would create a simple example of nesting and a simple example of variables. So what's another thing we could do with SAS? Well, mixins. So mixins comes in, you know, really handy when you're repeating the same, you know, lines of code, or you, you want to introduce some functionality that you don't want to keep doing over and over again. So it's kind of like creating a function with JavaScript. Uh, so let's, I'm going to just add some more styling to the H1 and the P tag. So I'm going to just do some padding here, just 25 pixels, and I'm going to change the Fawn family. Let's go ahead and do sans serif. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the p tag. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. All everything I did here because we want that to match. So what we've done here again, we're repeating ourselves. So it's the same exact styling for both of those things, but we're repeating ourselves. So this is where mixins can come to the rescue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So we're gonna add mixin, and we're gonna call this mixin. Just call it uh, padding, for instance. Padding color. And let's go ahead and, because we're repeating ourselves the same code here, I'm gonna copy that, paste it into here. Perfect, so now we can go ahead and use this mixin, if you will. Very simple. So instead of having to tap all this out, all we have to do is do at include padding color. Perfect. And same goes for the P tag because they both have the same styling. So if you look at this here, this is a lot less code than we than we started out with. You get the same styling here. If you look at the compiled version, you really get an idea of how much more there is here, okay? So, because you don't have to keep, as you you know build out your website more and more, you can you know reuse this mixin and so on and so forth and the colors, etc. So, it really will will save you time. I mean, you just sort of I recommend as you transition into working with SAS, just start with the basics first. Use CSS where you're comfortable, but start introducing things like mixins, things like variables into the projects, particularly in the nesting. And uh, the one thing I want to note for nesting is that you can really get uh, carried away with it. So, just you know be careful about doing things like that so for instance if you have an M in here you know you can do that and target that M for instance there it is right over here uh, but then you know you're really getting kind of carried away with it so what I recommend in this scenario is just don't go you know don't nest too deeply kind of maybe a couple of levels or so and just you know be careful just don't get carried away with it otherwise uh, you're you know free to use nesting to your heart's desire cool